First up, Ryan Duffy from Vice spent a day hunting and joyriding with Russian billionaire Sergei Verominko. Sergei Verominko. Yeah, that's it. Here's how it went. <laughs> And by hunting, Sergei meant we'd be stationed in a heating hunting blind, while his bodyguard scattered bags of corn into a lit area that we'd fire into with a sniper rifle. Not exactly sportsmanlike, but a lot of fun. In Russia, wild boar kept in wedlit pen hunt you. <laughs> Wonderful joke. You'll get it if you were born in the 80s. It's just not the same. All those Russians are so rich now. Mm, true, Dad. Next, <laughs> we've got a debut video from a brand new channel. Here oh, is yes. Jared from Hot Pepper Gaming reviewing Deadpool just after biting down on a fiery habanero chili pepper. Habanero. <laughs> it, the blood centers around Deadpool. <coughs> As he tries to have his own game made. Ugh. The combat is a combination of Devil May Cry, Dynasty Warriors. Oh, oh my god. Amazing. All right. I'm happy we discovered that talent on YouTube. <laughs> what is the spiciest thing you guys have eaten? Have you been to that level of pain? Yeah, actually, uh. I used to do that with some friends when I was younger and stupid, and uh, <laughs> I, we would eat the having your. It was like a, it was like, you know, if you lost a bet or something, you yeah. chew it for ten. And we would chew it for ten seconds, swish it around the mouth, and then and then you could spit it out swallow if you want. Uh. Ew. But, yeah, it was pretty uh. stupid. I think is the right word. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's Haley, an excellent. you're a big gamer. Did you ever eat a pepper and then play a game? No. Would no. you ever? I would. <laughs> I'm always up for eating contests. I love to eat, so. Oh. Challenges. Got habaneros on. Hear show. that, boys? Yeah. <laughs> In at number three, Jimmy Fallon set Mitch Mets. I've had trouble with this all day. Let me try this. Mets pitcher Matt Harvey, get it straight. You got it wrong. Okay. It's, it's it's Mitt Harvey. Ma Matt Harvey. It's Matt. Uh, what? Let me start this old bar all over again. Mets pitcher Matt Harvey was asked to go out on the street by Jimmy Fallon to mm -hmm. ask, what do you think about Mets pitcher Matt Harvey? Here's what they had to say about Matt Harvey on the street as a Mets pitcher. <laughs> I like him also, he's a good pitcher. Kind of saw him naked also on the ESPN, the body issue, so it's kind of weird. And I was like, whatever, he's all right. That's kind of weird. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Do you look all right? Uh, he looked okay, you know? I think there was one where, where he's like sneaking out of the hotel room in New York City or something. Is this the one you were talking about? Oh, that's him. Holy that's you. That's me. That's you. Is that real? Awesome. This was such a funny idea, I decided to go out in the street and see what people thought about Ethan Newberry. Hmm. Take a look. <laughs> hey, so have you guys heard of Ethan Newberry? Yeah, I think he's kind of a douche. Yeah, I heard he's kind of cute for a ginger. I don't know, though. Yeah, he's, he's, he's definitely a douche. He's, he's tacky, and I hate him. Have you heard of Ethan Newberry? Wait, was he that guy who uh, used to work at NBC? No, that's Conan. Have you heard of Ethan Newberry? Yeah, that's the guy that stole my girlfriend. Hey Ethan, I know where you work and I'm never subscribing. Hate that guy. Okay. <laughs> Maybe uh, not the best idea for a guy who's got that many pending paternity cases. Yeah. It's only 17, it's only 17. <laughs> what do you guys think about Ethan Newberry? Leave him in the comments. Leo, <laughs> Haley, what do you guys think of that guy? Wait, oh. what? Huh? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> In at number uh, two, I, Nick Kroll and Break Media present this helpful guide to keeping the Comic-Con spirit alive year-round. For example, leave your costume on underneath your normal clothes. Fighting your way out of a Catwoman suit to pee is a thrill year-round. Missing the long lines? Pick an everyday activity like eating breakfast, then wait four to six hours before you actually get to do whoa, it. Whoa, whoa, wait. Comic-Con is all about playing dress-up and waiting in long lines? Yeah, that's a big part of it. Forget it. I am out. But, but they're premiering Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs 2 footage. How can you miss that? That does sound appealing. Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. Yeah. But not as much as our number one most violent weaponized Two. YouTube video of all time today. Prop master Tony Swanton. the Two. <laughs> Meatballs. Um, the man at arms. <laughs> this guy. All right, this is cool. Stay he focused, Shira. Oh. Meatballs! <laughs> This guy fashions realistic steel wolverine claws. Cloudy with a chance of meatballs. The steel claws are attached to the aluminum grip. It's all riveted together, and now wolverine's claws are complete. The 
these are some serious deadly weapons. I mean, they're razor sharp, 12 inch long on the one side and four inches on the back edge. It wouldn't be something that people would be carrying around at convention. Oh, just in oh. time to murder everyone at Comic-Con. <laughs> How appropriate. Don't give anyone any ideas and do not try that at home, folks. If you guys could uh, make any movie weapon, what would it be? Leo. Lightsaber, of course. Oh, <laughs> yeah. 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 Lasso of Truth. That would That's be it. awesome. There you go. I would just bring Haley Bright with me. Now nah, that it's out of the yeah. Totally. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're a weapon of destruction, Haley. I like it. <laughs> oh. And that does it today for our trending now countdown. Yeah.